Hi guys, Smoking Bears. How you doing? Uh, today we're going to talk about cast iron um, restorations. So, cheers. Hope everybody's having a great day. Let's get into this. Uh, I've been watching this guy named Steven over at the Cast Iron Cookware. And let me tell you, really, really like this guy. Um, but he did a restoration doing a 50-50 vinegar water. And I tried it the other day and really, really, really had some great success. So I called my buddy who has these nasty pieces and he says, hey, you know, let's let's try this out. I want to try this. So he brought over the skillet. You guys can see it's pretty gnarly. It was left outside. Um, looks like it's a, a Wagner um, some sort. So we will uh, attempt to restore this doing the... 50 50 vinegar so let's uh all right so what we have in the tub is a gallon of just regular vinegar uh, you can see just regular white vinegar then i filled that up with water and dumped it in there so it's a 50 50 of water gallon of water and gallon of vinegar the crud is from the skillets i didn't last the other day um got my little scrubby in here just kind of chilling so what i'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump this in here. I'm gonna dump it in here. You know, make sure it's full. Kind of give it a light scrub, get any loose stuff off. And then I'm gonna try to fill it up. Get it in there, let it get some working. And then we'll let it sit for 30 minutes. We'll let it sit for about 20 minutes and then we'll then uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, so we're 10 minutes in. I got my timer set, and we're, we're 10 minutes in. So I'm just going to give this a light scrub using my large hard bristle brush. You can see this water is nasty. And just scrub it around. And you see some of this didn't get, isn't getting covered in water or this mixture. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see. Seems to be working pretty decently. You can see the bottom. So um, I'll let this sit. I'm gonna actually flip this over. So that way the handle and the rest of the pieces. I'm just give it a light scrub. Like I said, we're only 10 minutes in, so Let's uh, let this sit and uh, for another 10 and then we'll see what we got. All right, guys, so our 20 minutes is up. Let's flip this over and uh, see what we got. <laughs> she may need longer. Uh, let's get it over to the, let's get over the sink so we can wash it out here and take a really good look at it. All right, so we got it in the uh, got it in here in the sink now. Got on my steel wool; it's pretty gnarly. Got the water on pretty. Trying to get a hot as hot as you can get it. And let's just scrub away. It won't take a little bit of elbow grease, like all good things. So, let me, let me work on this and then uh, see what we got after I get it scrubbed down. All right, so this is after scrubbing for about five minutes. Uh, the inside's still pretty pretty gnarly. Uh, there's, there's the inside. It's still pretty gnarly. Got a bunch of hunks of stuff that's just not coming off yet. And the backside actually cleaned up pretty decently. I think it'll, it'll, it'll clean up the rest of the way. So I'm going to soak it again. Um, I'm going to soak it again for another 20 minutes. Alright guys, so another 20 minutes has gone by. This is what I'm left with. Um, about 5 minutes ago I started scrubbing lightly with the uh, Brillo pad. Well, it's a, just a stainless or a steel wool pad and the uh, lodge scrubber.
the outside looks is looking really the bottom of it's looking really good now. I got some hot water rolling. Starting to see see some lettering um, on the skillet. It is a Wagner. Looks like it has cooking instructions on it, so I have to uh, check into that to see what kind of age and all that kind of stuff, and collectability if there is any there. See the care and seasoning instructions. The part I'm worried about is this in here. Um, looks like the, you know you would say go get a wire wheel, but I don't want to do that because the wire wheel. Well, so your, your cast iron is actually porous, and when you wire wheel it, um, you take you grind that down to the point where it's smooth as glass and no longer porous, so that when you go to season it, it will no longer take seasoning. So there's 20 more minutes. Uh... I scrubbed a lot this time with the uh, steel wool and scrubbed about the whole time that was the whole 20 minutes steel wool and then looked like that was getting pretty wore out and pretty shot so I went out and found a, a little wire brush seems to be working a little bit um, I just put some fill this back up and uh, I'm gonna fill this back up and let it sit. Let it soak in there. Uh, probably go 30 minutes or so. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm not gonna bring you back every 20 minutes because it could take me a while. Right, so this is where it's at. Um, several several soaks and scrubbing and all that. So looks pretty good. Um, I got some things I got to go do tonight, so I actually ran out of time, so I'm just got it dried. I'm going to set it aside here. Um, man, this is the water. I'm going to get some more vinegar and water. This stuff here is just nasty, so I'll get some fresh vinegar and water, and then we'll uh, finish this up later. Hey guys, uh, so next morning, um, I did changed out my oil or my vinegar and water I did a gallon and a half and a gallon and a half done several uh coats of uh rounds of scrubbing and soaking and scrubbing and soaking and now i got a, a light coat of crisco on it um and got it in the oven at 250 degrees um i'm gonna let it sit there about 10 minutes 15 minutes and then I'll crank it up to 500 for an hour. What my water looks like this morning uh, after the multiple soaks and scrubbings and whatnot. This is new, was new water this morning. It's a gallon and a half of vinegar and a gallon and a half of water. This pan has taken a lot to do, but it'd be worth it. All right, so once it hits 500, I'll time it for an hour. All right, guys, been one hour, 500 degrees. Pull this bad boy out. It's pretty, it's pretty good. All right, upon further, further investigation, it looks like it's more, uh, more just where they got ground down. Looks like this has been, uh, somebody's used a grinder on it. So it's just a thin spot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Crisco. Uh, this bad boy just came out of the hot ass oven. Crisco just a little bit there. The dude is hot, scorching hot. I'm just going to rub her down really thin. Get that steamy, smoking. Rub her down really good. Inside now. All right, guys. So. Where I'm at with the skillet is I put it in the oven for 500 degrees or 250. 
a uh, little bit of heat all the way up, gave it another light coat of uh, oil, uh, Crisco. Uh, let it go 500, up to 500 degrees. Once it hit 500, I let it roll for an hour. Um, then I pulled it out, gave it another really light coat, and then put it back in for about another 30 minutes. Um, and then you know, the wife had stuff to do, so I just shut the oven off, let it cool, so we went and did our running. And uh, it actually looks better than what it did a little bit ago. Um, it's going to need a couple more rounds of just a light coat and then back up to 500. But uh, let us uh, let me show you what, you what we got. All right, so here it is. Doesn't look as bad as what it did. You can see it's got a lot of pity. Gosh dang. And if you remember, this skill looked like crap. I mean, literal crap, but the seasoning that seems like it took, uh, looks like there's some spots where it had been hit with a wire wheel um, to where it's really smooth. But uh, this has got some deep pitting all the way through it, but um, could be some heat damage. Um, this came from a, a camp, uh, a local camp um, grounds. They had left it outside on their uh, back porch and Anyway, uh, Mother Nature took care of it and really wrecked it. But yeah, I got it cleaned up. I'm going to put a couple more rounds of seasoning on it and um, hopefully get it back to them so they can use it. Um, it was a fun experiment. Um, that uh, vinegar and water worked. Um, so give it a try, your next cast iron uh, restoration. Uh, give it a whirl. Um, see what you think. Uh, a lot of elbow grease. Just take your time. Uh, all right, guys, that's smoking bears. We're, that's all I got this week. Uh, give it a try. You know, the 50 50 vinegar water, it works. You got to do a lot of scrubbing if it's as bad as what this one was. Um, but it it works. And, uh, you know, go check, check out my guy uh, over Cook Iron or Cast Iron Cookware. Uh, Really interesting dude. Um, I'm really digging him. Um, but that's smoking bears, man. Get out there, fire it up, get your kids involved. So, a family barbecues together, cooks together. Either one, they stay together. That they do. Have a great week, everybody.